now see this question that was a question on perimeter now this is a question on area now see here sir this is a question on area and if you see here this is your original ssc cgl prelims examination question yes it might be 10 years before 2009 but still i am interested in taking some original questions whether it is recent original questions or little earlier original questions it really does not matter as long as you are learning few varieties beautifully which can be solved now see here your question is if the area of a triangle is 117 centimeter square area of triangle is given as 117 centimeter square and it is also given in the question as base is to corresponding altitude is 3 is to 4 base ratio with height it is given as 3 is to 4 in my method one i can take it as 3x is to 4x then the altitude of the triangle is how much what is the height of the triangle is what they are asking you in the question. Find the height of the triangle is what they are asking. Now see here sir. Just one minute sir. Now see here. They are asking you what is the corresponding altitude or the height. Now see here sir. If I use my method 1, what is method 1? Method 1 is nothing but I will use variables to solve my question. That is method 1. Always whatever I take usually as method 1 will be the method which you need to, which you not need to follow. You should not follow actually. Right? Now see here. Can I say that area of triangle is, area of triangle is, half into base into height basic notation we know it area is half into base into height area is given as 117 right it is given in the question as 117 so and it is there is a mistake here sir it is not 117 it is 1176 centimeter square right it is 1176 centimeter square this is half into base is 3x height is 4x now if i simplify further 2 will cancel with 4 it becomes 2x so this is 1176 is equal to 3x into 2x 3x plus 2x like my previous question is 5x if i add or subtract the degree of 1 will still remain 1 itself but if i multiply the degree of 1 when multiplied with another degree of 1, it becomes a degree 2. So, 3x is into 2x is, it is 3 into 2, 6 and x into x is x square. So, x square will be 1176 divided by 6. x square is 196. So, what is x value? x value is square root of 196. Square root of 196 is 14. If you remember carefully, I told you this x value is nothing but the multiplying factor what we are finding. Multiplying factor in my method 2 without using variables is nothing but the value of x by using variables in my method 1. That means this x is equal to 14 should actually be my multiplying factor when I teach you method 2 for the same question. Let us not worry about method 2 at the present being because method 1 is not yet completed here. Height is what they are asking you in the question. Height is 4x and x value is 14. So answer is 4 into 14. 56 centimeters. Answer for this question is 56 centimeters when I solved it by using method 1. Sir, is there any difference between method 1 and method 2? Not too much of difference, but method 2 I will not even use any variables, but I will try to get the answer little faster. And I have taken so many questions in many topics where method 2 will serve as the beautiful way of solving rather than using formulas or variables. What is method 2? Base and corresponding height ratio is given as 3 is to 4. That means according to the ratio, base is 3 centimeters, height is 4 centimeters. According to ratio, base is 3, height is 4. Now, if you observe carefully, they are asking find the height in the question. According to the ratio, height is 4. 
according to the question height should be something that means four should be multiplied by something or in other language answer should be a multiple of four 42 is not a multiple of 4, ruled out. 52 is a multiple of 4, it may be the correct answer. 54 is not a multiple of 4, ruled out. 56 is a multiple of 4, this also may be the correct answer. Now, there are two options, either 52 should be correct answer or 56 should be correct answer. You take any value, whatever you like. Suppose if I take 52 for example, I am assuming that second option 52 is my right answer. This is my assumption. 4 into which number is 52? 4 into 13 is 52. 3 also multiplied by 13. Sorry, 3 also multiply by 13. 13 into 3 is how much? 39. That means base is 39, height is 52. Area of the triangle is half into base is 39 height is 52 so this is 2 into 1 2 into 26 but think little logically sir actually your area should be according to my second assumption if i assume the area as if i assume the area as 52 sorry if i assume the height as 52 centimeters i am getting the area as 39 into 26 but Question says area is 1176 centimeter square. Check whether they both are equal. Sir, should I multiply 39 and 26 and find out? No, if you are multiplying, you did not learn A and C shortcuts. As simple as that. Don't multiply. Here the unit digit is 6, which is given in the question. 9 into 6 is 54. 39 into 26 unit digit is 4. Unit digit 4 and unit digit 6. Are they equal any time? No, definitely they cannot be equal. Therefore, my assumption of second option of 52 is incorrect. Out of four options, already option A was eliminated. Option B I eliminated just now. Option C was eliminated because it was not a multiple of four. Therefore, the correct option is option D which is 56 centimeters. And that is exactly what I got by using method 1. If you observe method 2, I don't even use any variables here. And I can solve it so easily and the most beautiful way possible. If you are little lucky, sir, I'm, take my words, I am just telling because I have seen so many questions of this sort also. If you are little lucky, base height according to the ratio is 4. According to the question, they are asking you how much. Multiply 4 by something or in other words, answer should be a multiple of 4. If you are lucky, out of 4 given options, if there is only one option which is a multiple of 4, then you don't even have to check all these things. You can directly mark that particular option and you can move forward. Provided we are solving in a worst case scenario of 95-96% taking chances that multiplying factor will always be a whole number. There is no rule that multiplying factor is a whole number, but in majority of the cases, multiplying factor will be a whole number. If you really have time, find the values sitting and solving each and every step. If you are in a little hurry so that you need to solve so many other questions, use this kind of smarter approach. Yes, beautiful, sir. Can I move on to method three? Is there any other thing which I can think about? Why not? Definitely, this is what the flexibility ANC gives you of thinking in multiple methods. Keep thinking in different methodologies. This method 3 is quite similar to method 1 but without using any variables. Base is to height. It is given in the question as 3 is to 4. Now, according to ratio, base is 3 cm, height is 4 cm. Can I say that? Can I say that area of triangle is half into base into height, right? It is half into base into height. So this is given in the question as 1176. So base into height, it is 1176 multiplied with 2. This is nothing but 2352. But think a little logically, sir. Can I say that according to ratio, base is 3. According to ratio, height is 4. According to ratio, base into height is 3 into 4, 12. According to ratio, it is 12. 
according to the question it is 2352 12 should become 2352 multiplying factor is 196 but hold on sir you told multiplying factor is x value but it is x square value yes this is where you should be little careful compared to finding the perimeter in perimeter the degree will not change 3x plus 4x will become 7x where the power or the degree is 1 itself but 3x into 4x will become 12x square that means basically this is 12x square is 2352 so x square will be so x square is multiplying factor is 196 x value is 14 or in simple language instead of thinking all those things like that simple way of understanding is if it is a perimeter based question whatever the multiplying factor you get here that is the x value because the degree will not change if it is a area question whatever the multiplying factor you get here that should be equated with x square and then take the square root of this multiplying factor to get the original multiplying factor so original multiplying factor is not 196 it is square root of 196 14 suppose if it is x cube in our volume based questions in our 3d mensuration which we will see later then you should take the cube root of that multiplying factor what you have got I hope you are understanding the difference. That means the actual multiplying factor is 14. Multiply this 4 also with 14. Answer is 14 into 4 which is 56. I hope you are understanding sir. In simple language, 12 is becoming 2352. Normally how you find the multiplying factor? Find the same multiplying factor. 2352 divided by 12 is 196. Use the same approach how you used to find the multiplying factors earlier. But what you need to do is, this is a question on area. Because it is area, area is always square units or units square. Take the square root to get the actual multiplying factor. Suppose if this question is volume, volume is unit cube. Take the cube root of that multiplying factor what you got to get the original multiplying factor. I hope you are understanding the difference. Sir, I am more comfortable with method 2. Yes, please go ahead. Your wish. It's completely up to you. Sir, I am comfortable with method 3, sir. Please follow. Sir, I am more interested in method 1. But I think that method 1 is a very lengthy method. As you proceed with more and more questions, sir. Try to avoid using method 1, sir. My sincere request because ANC is not habituated to that kind of methodology where we use variable to solve the questions. And I believe that you have seen so many videos of I taking classes without using variables, Anil sir taking classes without using variables and making a very difficult problem look in the most easiest way possible. Let us try to use that kind of methodology which will simplify our problem rather than making it complicated because our life is already complicated. I hope the idea is clear for you people.